dear students today in this week we are going to discuss the formulas of grading using lookup formula then the searching criteria for a student result by using vertical lookup method and horizontal lookup method then we are going to study the conditional formatting as well data validation concepts count if and some if formulas <clears throat> so we'll start from create using lookup formula so for example we have the data which we have discussed in previous class i want to calculate grade for example here i am creating a column in which my field name is grade using lookup grade using lookup formula so in this formula we first of all press is equals to look when you are going to press look you will have a formula in the drop down list you have to select this formula by double clicking on the lookup now it is asking formulas are very much self explanatory uh, formula is asking for the lookup value which i want to against which i want to assign the grades so what is my lookup value the percentage the percentage is my lookup value comma then lookup vector so as you already know that our lookup vector is actually the grading scheme from where our grades are started so first grade is started from zero second grade is started from 60 c grade then third grade is started from 67 as you can see here we have discussed a grading scheme that from 0 to 59 we have F grade so first grade started from 0 then second grade started from 60 third grade started from 67 fourth grade started from 74 fifth grade started from 81 and sixth the last grade eight grade is started from 88 onwards so <clears throat> now we are going to learn how to apply the lookup formula for grade so lookup value lookup vector we have to whenever when, whenever we are going to define the lookup vector we have to start a middle bracket if you are not going to start the middle bracket it will give you some errors so this is important in lookup formula that instead of small round brackets you have to use middle brackets as well so after comma i'm going to select a middle bracket then i'm going to define the lookup vector so my first grade is from zero comma second grade from 60 third grade from 67 fourth 74 then we have B plus grade from 81 and then we have A, A grade from 88 onwards. Then I'm going to close, I'm going to close this, this middle bracket. This is my entire lookup vector. And against this lookup vector, I have to assign the lookup, the look, lookup result. That is the result i want to generate against these grades so after comma i am going to start another middle bracket in which i'm going to start assigning the grade so first 0 to 59 means a student will get f grade so first value first grade comma second value for second grade so third third grade and in, in, in a similar way we will assign the all grades so for against zero we have f grade for our students zero means zero to 59 then comma then for 60 we have c grade comma 
you must remember this that in order to assign or generate the grades on your report card you must have to assign the inverted commas whatever the text you are willing to assign you have to assign it in inverted commas similarly we have c plus grade comma then we have b grade comma then inverted commas again open and we have b plus grade comma then we have the last a grade after the assigning the grade scheme i'm going to close my metal bracket and after that i'm going to close my small bracket which i have started from the lookup formula at start so my formula is completed now if i'm going to press enter it will execute it and I, it will generate the results so you can see the same results we are we can have or we are having by using the same same result same outputs we can generate by using a different formula named as lookup formula now i'm going to tell you what are the benefits of using if formula on lookup formula you can see if i'm going to use lookup formula the limitation in lookup formula is that the constant is that we have to apply the grading scheme on ascending order increasing order that from failure to a we can only assign this formula in this manner and then we can assign our grades in from f to towards a in increasing order if we try to apply our lookup formula in decreasing order for example i start from 88 then 81 then 74 then 67 then 60 then 0 and over here i'm going i'll try to start it from a plus b plus then b then c plus then c then f that is an increasing order ascend, ascending order instead of uh, de descending order instead of increasing order ascending order then we cannot it, it is not going to be executed so the limitation of lookup formula is you can apply the lookup formula only in increasing order whereas in comparison if you use micro uh, in microsoft excel if conditions if conditions you can apply in either increasing order or decreasing order it means that i can apply the grading scheme as i have already discussed with you the grading scheme in descending order if you know that we have assigned this grading scheme from 88 a grade towards f grade descending order i can increase by changing the greater than sign into a less than sign in decreasing order as well increasing order as well for example f then c then c plus then c so uh, this is the benefit of using a formula that it will give you more options to execute your formula as per your requirement and as per your need and as per your option to execute it either in ascending order or descending order so these are the benefits of a formula but we must know the different alternatives alternative formulas to produce the same results similarly as we have applied the grade using vlooker we can also generate the cgpa using looker so gpa using looker oh in this way this this entire formula is repeated for you but we have to change only instead of a b plus b we have to assign the uh, gpa is 4 3.5 3 2.5 and so on and this is actually the repetition of the formula so that you can learn very well how to apply this formula so first of all we have to press it's equals to then look up when you press lookup a formula you can see over here you have to double click to select this formula then first value in the formula which is explaining you that 
find the lookup value. So our lookup value is our percentage against which we are assigning the different grades. So this is my lookup value, then comma. What is my lookup vector? The same lookup vector for and the same thing. First, I have to start with this middle bracket before starting the lookup vector. Then from I have zero, then 60, then I have criteria of 67.